If you want your print on demand business to be as automated as possible, then you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through all of the settings that you need to set up when starting a print on demand business with Printify and Etsy. So that anytime you get an order from a customer on Etsy, that order will automatically get sent to Printify. They will print the item, ship it to your customer, and even update the tracking number for you over on Etsy. So that way the process is completely automated and you can spend your time on creating new listings and handling your customer service. And I'll break down all of the things that I'm going over in this video into little chapters down below so it's easier to skip around and find exactly what you're looking for if there's something specific that you need. And if you somehow got to this video without knowing what print on demand is or what Printify is, then print on demand is just a process where you make designs for products and you post them for sale online, but they actually don't get printed and shipped to the customer until someone actually orders it. And that's where Printify comes in. They are a website that brings together hundreds of different printers from all around the world for you to be able to choose to print your products. That means you have access to hundreds of different products to put your amazing designs onto. So Printify doesn't actually print anything. They're just the website that ties everything together and completely automates that process for you. I do have a link to sign up for Printify down in the description of this video. It is an affiliate link, so if you want to support me and my channel, then feel free to use that or go to printify.com and set up your account and let's dive into the settings. The first thing you'll want to do when you log into Printify is connect it to the account that you'll be using. So in my case, I use Etsy, but you can connect it to other accounts like Shopify or even very soon Amazon. So up here on the top left, right under where it says Printify, you'll see either your store name if you've already connected it. And if not, you'll be able to click this and click add new store. So here it'll bring you to all of the different options for different platforms that you can connect your Printify account to. So if you are doing Etsy like I am, then you'll click Etsy and this will ask you to log into your Etsy account and give Printify access to your order information. And just as simple as that, you'll be connected between those two platforms. And if you haven't signed up for an Etsy account just yet, I do have a link for you down in the description that if you open your Etsy account for the first time using that link, you will get 40 free listings just for using that link. So now that you've got your Etsy or Shopify details connected with Printify, let's set up your own account settings. To do that, you'll come down here to account and click my account. So here is where you fill out all of your very own business information. Your customers are not going to see this. This is just for the invoices Printify sends you every month. So you know how much money that you spent on the platform. So fill out all of your information here and go ahead and submit. Next, we need to set up the settings for when you get orders from Etsy. To do that, you want to come over here to the left and click store settings. This is where you're going to enter the name of your Etsy store or your Shopify store. This is what's actually going to get printed on the shipping labels from Printify. It's not going to say that it came from Printify or one of the printers. It's actually going to say your very own store name, and that's where you'll put it here in this box. The next thing is the ship from address. Now I have always decided to put the Printify default address as the return address on the box, but you are welcome to put your very own address on the box if you'd like, that's completely up to you. Now on to the most important settings, which is your order settings. So the first one is your order routing. So this means that if something goes out of stock, they want to know if you want to manually tell them who you'd want to print that item for you instead, or if you want them to automatically choose that for you. Now, personally, I've never chosen to have the order routing on for two very specific reasons. Number one is that you don't get to choose who they switch to. They can switch this to whoever they like, whenever they like. Number two is if you have multiple items on an order, like say someone orders a size medium shirt and a size large shirt, if that print provider is out of stock for size medium, the order routing would actually send the size medium to a different printer, but they leave the size large with the first printer and send them from different people and they'd arrive at different times. And so I've never really loved that. So when I have items that are out of stock, Printify makes it very easy in their order section that you can just click in the order to choose who you want to change it to. And you could change all the items on the order to that new print provider if you wanted to. 
Next is the order approval. So I do recommend setting up an automatic order approval. This is what makes it much more automated. So up here you can click that you manually want to tell it to start making items once the orders come in, or you can set up to have them automatically go to order in one hour, automatically every 24 hours, or automatically at a set time every day. Now that's the option that I personally chose. I always have my orders go through at 10 a.m. in the morning because I always know I'll be awake and I'll double check those orders to see if any customers have messaged me and asked for changes. Sometimes a customer might ask you to change a size or a color or ask you a question about the item. And so I like to not have them go through immediately so I have time to make changes as necessary because once an order is actually sent to the production partner, you can't edit that order. You'd have to actually cancel it and make a new one. And so you can set this up however you like, but feel free to give it a try the same as me and have them automatically go through at the same time each day. The benefit of that as well is that your credit card gets charged just once for the day for all of those orders instead of each time an order comes in. Sometimes credit cards will give you a hard time if you get too many orders in a day from the same person. So this really is easier as well. The other ones are all really simple. Tracking notifications, I have it receive as soon as it's available. Delayed orders, I say automatically send to production. And then it's up to you if you wanna receive daily order updates and go ahead and click save. Coming over to branding, this is an optional extra charge to have an insert included with your orders. And I'll link a video down below on how to make these things. They're kind of like thank you cards that get included inside the package that can have say a QR code that gives them a discount on future purchases, for example. So I will link that video down in the description if you wanna watch more about the different branding options. And then last is gift messages. So this is again an optional thing that you can offer if your customers want to provide a gift message for their items. Now I will say that gift messages are not available on all items. And so if you offer gift messages in your store, just make sure you're only selling items that actually offer gift message cards like this from Printify. And you can tell right on here which supported print providers allow those on this screen so you know whether to provide that or not. Next, we need to set up your payment settings. So to do that, you're going to click the wallet and come to payments. Now this is going to be where you tell Printify how you'd like to pay for the items. Because if you weren't familiar with how the payments work between you and Etsy and the customer, Etsy and Printify are actually not connected for payments at all. You are actually the middleman for those payments. So your customer will buy an item on Etsy, Etsy will keep their Etsy fees and then give you what's left and then you will pay Printify to print that item. However, when you first get started on Etsy, Etsy doesn't pay you until about a week later when you first get your items. And for your first 90 days, they put you on something called payment reserves where they keep a portion of the sale until the item ships. So that means that you have to actually pay for the product before it's sent to the customer. Now this shouldn't be a ton at a time, especially in the beginning, but you might have to float those payments for about a week or two weeks, depending on how long it takes the item to ship. And so you will have to give Printify a way to take money from you since they don't get the actual money from Etsy. So there's a few different options. You can put a Printify balance from PayPal or Payoneer. Uh, the nice benefit to this is if you have a PayPal PayPal credit card that gives you 2% or 3% cash back, then you can get cash back for those purchases. You can also connect a cash back credit card to get points for those purchases as well. And this is how I've paid for a lot of my family's vacations. So if you don't have a cash back credit card just yet, I would recommend looking into getting one. The Wells Fargo Active Cash Card is a decent one that gives you 2% cash back on anything, but you can go ahead and just Google best cash back card cards for you, especially depending on what country you live and see what you can find for yourself. And then down here at the bottom of that screen is where you can set up your Printify Premium account. Now I do have a coupon code for you that if you use coupon, all capitals, Cassie 30, you'll get a free month of Printify Premium. This only works if you are a brand new account that hasn't spent any money yet, but Printify Premium is a service where it gets you up to 20% off all of your Printify products. And this can make a huge difference, especially once you start selling a lot more 
more in your store. So I would consider getting Printify Premium, especially in the beginning because it's free with my code. And then once you're getting about 10, 15, 20 sales a month, it absolutely pays itself off. Now coming over to the invoice tabs, this is where you'll get the amount to track every month for your taxes for how much you spent total that month on your Printify account. And if this is your first time running a business, then I have an awesome resource for you to help you track your income and expenses so you know actually how much profit you're making each and every month. And that is my super simple Google Sheets income and expense report. It's only $20 and I'll link it down in the description. And this is what it looks like. So for every month you get a little document like this. You can say, okay, I made $500 in sales. And then maybe for Printify, you spent um, $300 on the actual product for shipping them, maybe Etsy fees, you spent $50, maybe you spent $40 advertising, maybe you spent um, $30 on design software, and so you actually made $81 in profit for the month. So this can be a good way to track your expenses. It also has a profit calculator built right into it, so that way you can put in how much you wanna sell an item for, how much it costs you with print to buy, and you can see about how much it would be after Etsy fees that you would actually make in profit. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helped you get started faster and easier. And this next couple weeks, just know that it's going to be really hard. It's going to take a really long time, but it'll get easier over time. I swear your first 40 listings are gonna take you longer than your next 200 listings will ever take. Uh, so I'm gonna link a couple videos down in the description to help you like different product reviews that I've done for Printify and different videos to really answer questions that you're probably going to have next on your journey and I'll also link my free print on demand mini course down in the description and if you ever decide you want a lot more support I do also have a course that I go over everything A to Z that you need to know and it comes with a community where I answer your questions every day in our private community. So please take a moment to like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I will also be releasing some other awesome Printify videos here in the next few weeks. But as always, I appreciate you staying all the way until the end, and I'll see you in the next one.